All right, let's talk money now. Today we will be focusing on dry cleaning business. Of course, the laundry often known as dry cleaning is the industry of washing, drying, and ironing garments and other textile materials for individuals and businesses. It is a highly profitable and uh, low risk business that anyone can start and profit from. And of course, it is possible to run it as a part time or full time business. Uh, you can start and grow a successful laundry business on a small budget. But of course, we will be finding out more about that uh, from Archibong James, a dry cleaning expert who is right here in the studio with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So tell us the dry cleaning business. How, what do you need to start a dry cleaning business? Well, to start a dry cleaning business, it depends on the scale that you want to start it. You can start it on a small scale, and you can start it on a large scale. So for starters, um, first you have to be uh, educated. You, have, you need to have the requisite training on how to go about laundry. While um, most of us wash in the house, but um, there are still some basic things you need to learn to handle some fabrics. So, so for starters, you can get a washing machine, um, uh, washing What's machine. What's the average cost for a washing machine? The average cost for a washing machine, it depends on the type also. On the brand. Yeah, yeah. depends on the brand, the type, the, you know, the functionality of the kind of machine. But yeah, you can get some for 100 or brand new ones for let's say 100, 150 and um, you, know, you are good to go. Mm. So you, you, to you also need some chemicals and all the other okay. soap. But of course you need training, you just mentioned the training. Yes. What are some of the skills you need to learn as a dry cleaner? Now, for small scale, the small scale dry cleaners actually perform basically all the function like the technician, that is the people that does the washing, that does the washing and the laundry aspect of it. Then we have the pressers, the people that does the ironing. Mm -hmm. Then we have the quality control professionals, the people that check for stains and package the garment. Mm -hmm. So for the small scale um, laundry business owner, the small scale owner literally does all these okay. functions mm -hmm. in one. Okay. But for a large scale um, laundry business, so they have these sections where you have a, a pressing professional, you have a quality control professional, you have a technician professional that focuses on a particular part of the laundry business mm -hmm. and they become professionals at it. That's it. Okay, so you talked about um, training earlier that, that there's the need to, you know, have the requisite training. Um, is there a particular school where, you know, teaming um, l um, dry cleaners go to, to learn the skills or they have to learn from, you know, a particular dry cleaner? Okay, currently I'm not aware of a particular school okay. you know, where um, laundry enthusiasts go to, mm -hmm. but they can actually um, work under a, a laundry firm okay. and from there you know, get the requisite works. training and become proficient in the business. Okay. So, so I'm, in, I'm wondering, you know, this ironing that we do in the house, <laughs> you have to go learn it. You have to go learn how to wash, how, how to, to wash, mix chemicals yeah. and all of you that. Know. So <laughs> why should I spend my money to, you know, give my money to a dry cleaner okay. to wash my clothes as against just taking it all, getting a washing machine in my house to wash my clothes? No, there are different fabrics and there are different ways of um, laundering them, processing them. Like now, you have some shirts that you don't need to dry clean. Now, I need to um, let you understand something. There is a difference between laundry and dry cleaning. Okay. Oh, okay. There's a difference. What's the difference? Please, now, while um, laundry is the normal washing with soap and water, understand? the dry cleaning does not actually entail washing with soap and water because not all fabrics uh, that you can wash with soap and water. It okay. may actually actually damage the fabric Fabra. or affect the characteristics of such fabrics. Okay. So we have some fabrics that we actually dry clean. And dry clean is more or less using a solvent. Oh, okay. the chemicals? Yes, yeah, the chemicals. Okay. Now, the small scale um, business persons, they don't have the dry clean. Most of them don't have the dry clean machines because the cost of a dry clean machine runs into millions. Mm. Okay. But there are still alternatives into doing it, but it's still very risky. Mm. Okay. Understand? So the laundry dry cleaning business is a very risky business also, I must say. 
Mm. Because once you damage a customer's clothes, mm -hmm. then you stand at the risk of either paying for such garments mm -hmm. or, yeah. you know, mm. the customer can come and make trouble with you. So it's a very dicey business. But the difference still stands. Most of uh, this laundry, um, the um, small scale owners, they may pride themselves as doing their cleaning, and at the end of the day, they may end up damaging your garment. But there are still some techniques they do employ that still helps them to achieve the dry cleaning fit without damaging your garments. Okay. So, okay, you were asking why you should pay that much. Just like I said earlier, different fabrics, different way of processing them. Now, while you can say, ah, why am I paying money to press my garments? Because our forefathers, our parents started. didn't have to pay so much. They <laughs> just had to wash their uh, Like that, There are some uh, types of iron that you may, there are some, all these basic iron that you may use on your garment, and then they burn them. Okay. Mm. Or they give them a kind of, uh, what we Londoners call mm. iron shine. Oh, you okay. understand? It affects the fabric. You understand? You don't see some part of your clothes being glazed mm. and shiny. Mm. And, you know, so it's, but for the laundry professional, they have all these irons and um, that can actually iron your clothes without burning them. Like some garments don't need to be ironed; they just need to be steamed. Mm. They have such irons that can do that. The right. professionals are there to know the different type of fabric and differentiate how mm. best to you know, to process them, iron them, and okay. they're about. Okay. So um, okay. You, you said um, I mean, for someone who wants to start on a small scale. You just get a washing machine of about a hundred thousand, and then few chemicals and detergents, and you're good to go. Yeah, for a small scale. For a small scale. So yes. for for someone who wants to, you know, um, invest in a business with roughly about one fifty thousand, the person is good to go. Ah, uh, one fifty thousand. Well, that's the cost of um, you know, the washing machine and um, the fifty thousand. The cost the of chemical. washing machine is. I'm just saying 100,000, uh, but you oh, know, okay. with the current market prices, Price you, may never can, you never yeah. can tell how much it is, it is out okay. there. Okay. But if you are going for something like a second hand washing mm -hmm. machine, you can get it at that price. Okay. And, and then in the space, mm -hmm. space, the mm -hmm. space, you need to get something like your rail. Mm -hmm. Now, once you finish washing, you need to hang it. Yes. You now, your rail, you need to get basic tools like how do you differentiate different customers' garments? A tagging machine, Chain a T-roll, and all those things are basic things you need to get. Uh, One hundred fifty thousand, I may not actually cut it. I would look at um, from two hundred to about five hundred thousand okay. for yeah. on a mo on a small scale. Mm. Yeah, on a small okay. scale to actually um, have all the equipment have all the equipment and something yeah. substantial. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So you talked about you know steaming and others on a large scale. Now run us through some of the equipment apart from you know. Um, the, the washing machine, what are the okay. um, equipment? So we have the dryer. Okay. The dryer is for drying um, clothes, like beddings, you know, yeah. like this duvet and all these things. Heavy materials. Yeah, heavy materials. Heavy. You want to dry them, but not all materials are also uh, good to put in the dryer. dryer. That's why like I said different fabric, different, different. way of okay. processing them. So you have the dryer, you can dry things like duvet, you know. Let's say you have um, a time frame that, okay. I need this to be delivered a day or two. The dryer can help you. You can dry it rather than probably in a case where it's a ra it's rainy it's or the hair. Oh, yeah. So you can use the dryer to fast track um, your drying process. Okay. We have the dryer. We have the washing machine that I mentioned earlier. Okay. And this washing machine also has different functionalities. You have the washing machine that does rinse and spin and extraction. Mm -hmm. Then we have, you can also get the extractor. Okay. The extractor helps you after washing. You now, after washing, you squeeze out the water from your yes. clothes before hanging them. Mm -hmm. The extractor can help you squeeze out this water, extract this water, okay. such that the drying time is lessened. Shortened. Yeah. Yeah, shortened. You understand? So you have the extractor, you have the dryer, you have the ironing table, okay. and there are also different types of ironing Iron. table. Uh, oh. And this price also vary. The functionality <laughs> also varies. Mm. <laughs> different so types of irons as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> different types of irons as well. The price also vary. Mm. So we also have um, different chemicals. Okay. These chemicals also vary. Different types, different prices, different mode of action. So we have like the Depri 2, Depri 3, Fools Go. There are many chemicals out there. And there are also the cheaper versions. And there are also the more um efficient version 
for removal of stain, like the Depre mm. 2 is for removal of stains. Okay. You know, all those things, also Depre 1, Depre 2, Depre 2, they all have their functionality, ammonia, you no. Know? But those ones are the chemicals. Then for the tools, basic tools, you have um, like your tagging, gun, your fasteners. Like for where I work, yes. we use the fasteners. Like we have um, a factory and we have collection centers okay. in different parts of Lagos. So what we do is we have um, a tiro for different branches okay. so that when this, once these clothes are sent into the factory, we can differentiate which center, which center okay. and from there process them. Once you process them, you can now send them back to the center. And one key thing, if you want to go into um, large-scale yeah. uh, laundry, laundry business, business, logistics. Okay. Because some of the customers actually need their garments delivered to them. Like so yourself. one high point of um, the laundry business is the free pickup and delivery. Some, some businesses do free pickup and delivery. Why some? Don't. You, know, you have to mm. pay for yes. the Delivery. pickups and delivery. Yeah. But some small scale be, uh, business owners also still do this pickup and delivery. But you know, for it to be more organized, you really need to work on that logistics Logistic. aspect. So for your kind of business or your um, swift dry cleaners, yes. what was the uh, delivery process like? Do you outsource or do you have in-house courier services? No, we have in-house courier services. Okay. No. Once we send um, garments, the clothes, to our co various collection centers, we can also take care of if the guy, a customer wants to come and pick it, uh, <coughs> pick it up in a collection center, no problem, it's already there. But if the customer also wants us to deliver, we deliver at no cost. Oh, so it's let's free. let's yes, okay free. free. Yes. Let's talk about the challenges in this industry, in this business. I know you talked about the risk of mm -hmm. getting a client's clothes damaged. damaged. I imagine that's a huge <laughs> one. <laughs> but let's look at the other challenges in the business. Okay. Yeah. There are many challenges in this line of business. One, the risk of damaging customers of ties. <laughs> but how do you challenge. handle that risk though? Well, how we handle the risk is one. When you get a customer's garment, the first thing we do is to check the garment. Now, if there is any form of damage on the garment or any form of um, stain. defect that can yeah, stain that can bring about issue, we notify the customer and get the customer's express permission to continue or not to continue. Okay. At times, we prefer advice on the best way to treat the garment. Okay. And if the gam if the customer consents, fine. If he does not, then we return Tom the okay. garment. Mm. Okay. You understand? But for a case where the garment is mistakenly done, we also reach out to the customer. Okay. You no, know? we you know, at times say honesty is the best policy. Mm. Yes. You know, reach out to the customer and explain um, the nature the of uh, the situation. Oh, okay, yes. You understand? And then reach a, a kind of agreement with the customer. You understand? But more often than not, you know, as professionals, you try to minimize occurrences like, like that. that. Okay. So that's what has been keeping us in business and okay. keeping our customers satisfied. satisfied. All right. So let's talk about the other challenges. Okay. okay other challenges include, um, you know, high cost of um, the rising cost of chemicals. Mm. Okay. You know, power. The issue of power, where you have power to fuel, um, getting fuel, fueling your generator yeah. to um, do like business. Do it, yes. The epileptic part is a very, it's a actually increasing concern. the overhead cost, cost of the mm. business. Then the price of chemicals, like as, at the time, the price of chemicals literally doubled. Mm. So it's a big one. So for it to stay afloat, you need to increase price and customers there will also, you know, they actually don't feel okay when the price are just increased over time. Yeah, so the business tend to cushion some of these things at okay. the expense of trying to satisfy at the expense of trying to satisfy the, the customers customer. and still be in business. So it's a very big one. Yeah. And also the uh, professionals in this field are not much. Really? They're not much. Ah. As you can go about seeing people opening um London and like but but yeah. two professionals in that line of business are not much. Mm. They're not much. I have to be honest with you, there are not much. 
Okay. So why is that? Why is that? Is it that people don't go for training? The training or, or what? You know, the idea is, you no. Know, some people wake up. I can wash my garments myself. I think I'm good at washing, <laughs> yeah. and then iron before it. you know, I can iron. I can fold my garments, and then before you know, they open the open a laundry business with minimal capital, and then start the business without getting the requisite training. Training. So, as a client, okay. how do you tell if this person is a professional or not? We subject them to some tests. Okay. Like now, if you are coming to work with us and you are coming, uh, okay, I've, 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 I've worked as a loan professional before. We ask you which area you understand because some people just say they've worked as a loan and they believe they are proficient in all the mm. which area are you good at. Yes. Mm. So if you say, okay, you are good at uh, the technician aspect of it, that is the people that does the washing and yeah. uh, the washing of these clothes and the moving of the stains and thereabout, we test you. If you are coming in as a presser, we test you also. So even if you believe you are good in all that, we test in all these Yes, aspects. that's from yeah. the business owner. I'm talking mm -hmm. about as a client. I'm bringing my clothes to a, an acclaimed dry cleaner who is supposed to be an expert. How do I tell if this person is really an expert or not? Now, if you come in with your garments, you want to tell if someone is an expert or not. You know, at times, Packaging may fool you. Exactly, mm -hmm. so which is why we need to enlighten. <laughs> it's not actually easy to tell if someone is an expert unless you have tried out. And maybe the they damaged your clothing. <laughs> <laughs> or, your, or your clothing is broken. So be, <laughs> <laughs> but I think at times you need to, some, most customers actually um, patronize two referrals. Mm. Okay. But once um, a customer has received quality service, Understand it. The customer may refer somebody else. So, someone referring you is telling that I've actually patronized these people and, and they are good. good. Mm. Understand? So you can. So generally, is this business lucrative? Is it very profitable? It's very profitable. It's very profitable. Yeah. Okay. I would like to ask, how do you determine your prices? And I'm asking because, um, for example, let's assume a shirt is two hundred naira. You know, <gasps> but you've said um, the cost of you know chemicals um, rising. Um, epileptic power supply so you know you have to um, spend more on you know fuel to power your device mm -hmm. um, equipment mm -hmm. and all of that so how do you determine prices because you go to one laundry service they tell you probably for example um, a shirt is 200 the next one says 300 one is like 350 you know in between you're yeah, not just to show I understand there's no price control but how do you determine prices well the price is determined uh, is subjected to overhead cost of the particular loan firm and the professionality involved. At time, involved. Okay. At time when you go to uh, a small laundry outfit, they will tell you two hundred. And at the end of the day, they may not end up. They may, <coughs> they may end up not giving you the quality, quality. that you want. Okay. Like now, you, you may have your shirt pressed by. I remember one time I traveled to a particular state, and I had to patronize one. I went for an occasion, so I had to like, okay, let me just find. Any laundry around. So I saw one of these small scale, scale yeah. laundry. Bin. Okay, please can you help me press this clothes? And before you know, I was seeing double gators on my clothes. It was cheap, yep. no doubt, but the service was not was not okay. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So all those things also tell on the price. For me to give you quality service, it also reflects on the price. But does the size matter? For instance, an Agbada. Does it cost more yeah, than are, a shirt? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. The type of fabric also the time uh, the different cost. prices for different types fabric, of yeah. fabrics. All right. While well, some people may charge two hundred, some people are charging one thousand for that same shirt yeah. to wash and so it depends. The uh, there's no centralized yeah. price, price control, control mechanism yeah, for yes, laundry yes. business. So it's subject to the management of such laundry firm. firm. Okay. Mm. Yes. All right, so that's a good place to leave it. Thank yeah. you so much, Achebong James, a dry cleaning expert from Swift Dry Cleaners, a subsidiary of Pali Agro Group. Thank you so much for your time on yeah. this. Thank you for having me. Break.